Android is one of the best operating system available for your phone. One of the best features of Android happens to be customization. An Android mod is an app or tweak that happens to enhance your Android in some ways. And that's exactly why today I'm going to show you 10 amazing Android mods that don't need root access. Excited? So let's get started. Navigation gestures are all the rage these days. Everyone has them. Apple, OnePlus, Xiaomi, Huawei and now Google in Android P. Everyone does them differently too. And if you want that too on your device, then this app brings customizable gesture control to any Android device for those users who are looking to get into gesture navigation or are looking for an alternative to existing options. Though, this app can do something completely that no other app can, completely hide the stock software navigation bar, lending to a truly full screen experience which is especially nice on phones with tall displays. Next up we have Dynamic Rotation Control. This is a very simple app that serves only one purpose. It allows you to swap between rotation lock modes without enabling auto rotation. Just open up the app and press the start button. It will ask you to grant two permission, draw over other apps and system settings. Once you have done that, you can fiddle with the sensitivity, button size and show time, which adjust how effect how accurately the orientation detection will be for the button to show up, how big the button will be and how long it will stay on the screen respectively. Here is what the button look like on the screen. By the way, keep in mind you have to disable auto rotation or this won't show up. Control anything in your phone with MacroDroid. MacroDroid, a powerful app used to control basically anything in your Android smartphone. This is one of the best and easy to automation app in Android. Some of the best examples what this app can do is, turn on the Wi-Fi connection when you launch a particular app, auto response to a specific incoming SMS by sending your current location, toggle the power button to tell you the time. MacroDroid includes many built-in and user-shared templates to demonstrate the power and flexibility of the application and help you get started. The free version of MacroDroid is limited to 5 macros and display advertisements. You can upgrade the application to allow unlimited macros and remove all the advertisements. Material Notification Shade is an application that uses gesture detection to overlay the generic notification shade with a more configurable one. This app does not actually override any parts of the original notification shade implementation, so the original is still there. The application utilizes a notification listener service which lets the application intercept existing notification and present them to you with the customization options that you applied. For instance, you can apply custom notification shade animations such as one from the Android P. Material notification shade is not limited to providing you with a notification shade which looks like Android P. There are variety of other themes, color choices and options available. There are numerous occasions like a power cut or when you are traveling to a remote area when we use our smartphone as a torch. However, activating the torch on our smartphone isn't as simple as one might expect. You either have to switch it on via quick setting from the notification shade or install a dedicated app which brings a shortcut to the home screen. The cool new Torchy app lets you activate an Android device's flashlight by just pressing the volume button. Also, if your smartphone doesn't happen to have a flash, it will activate the screen flash. The open source app also prevents activating the torch when it is in your pocket. Overall, it's a pretty handy app that you should install and the good news is, it works like a charm even on non-rooted devices. The portrait mode in the Google Camera app has been a Pixel 2 exclusive feature. However, an enterprising developer Charles Chow has created a mod named Camera NX that will work with a number of smartphones that is running Snapdragon SoC and now it is also available for Samsung Exynos devices. The Camera app delivers all the features that you will find in the new Pixel 2 Duo, like the more advanced features such as AR sticker, motion photo, face retouching and my personal favorite is the portrait mode which is ruled out on account of it requiring a dual camera sensor. With the latest Android version comes a new security feature for the devices. The feature basically enhances the lock screen security by disabling fingerprint and extended access functionality. Which means once a device has entered lockdown mode, you will need to manually input the password or PIN to use it. Any other unlocking method like fingerprint and smart lock will be bypassed. And I have come up with one of a kind app that mimics the Android P lockdown feature on any Android device. The app simply make use of device administrator permission to override the fingerprint unlock and smart unlock features. All you got to do is install the app, run it and enable the app. When prompted, grant the required permissions. Next, place the lockdown icon on the home screen. Finally, simply tap on the icon to enter lockdown mode. 
Modern smartphones these days have a fingerprint scanner that can detect swipe gestures. The device doesn't even need to support it via the OEM ROM as long as the phone itself can detect the gesture input from the sensor. By using Fingerprint Gesture app, you can customize the different gestures of the fingerprint sensor. Once you fire the app up, the first thing you will need to do is enable it. Toggle that little slider at the top to start using the app. With the app enabled, you can start setting your gesture for single tap, double tap and fast tap. But I would actually recommend scrolling down a bit and checking out the demo mode. Basically, demo mode gives you an easy way to test out how fingerprint gesture is going to react with the phone's particular model of the fingerprint scanner. To set an action, simply tap on it. Some of the choices will require a bit more interaction, but it all depends on which one you choose. The one that will require most setup is icon touch panel, but you won't actually do anything more with it until the first time you launch it. On-screen software navigation buttons have been around a while now on Android. However, throughout all these years, they haven't evolved all that much and apart from the icon updates. They look mostly the same as they did when first introduced. Fortunately, there is a free app that will restore some life back into that boring old black bar. The personalization app is an intuitively titled navbar animation. As the name suggests, it adds custom animation to the navigation bar. These override the default concentric ripple effect and allows you to replace it with any custom one from the available library. The most critical advantage this app holds over other is the fact that it functions without root access or the exposed module. Hence you can download it on just about any Android phone and have it up and be running in seconds. Modern phones currently have so many different shortcuts for all kind of things. The button on our phones are regulated to just opening the camera or adjusting volume. But button mapper looks to change all that by providing a way to change how the physical button on your phone behaves. Setup for button mapper is pretty simple, but it does have a long list of permissions needed. The developer is pretty transparent in saying what they are needed. Your options for customizations are extensive. To start you have to choose which key to customize and then which shortcut you want, single tap, double tap or long press. After that you have to decide what you want each shortcut to do. The options are extensive, you can set shortcut to open apps or you can choose from a bunch of different options. So these are 10 amazing Android mods that doesn't need root access. Let me know which of the above mod you like the most. Do you know of any other mod that I should have added to this list? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future video from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.